Today's video will be about how Romania managed to double its surface area in a single year as a result of peaceful unification with the territories inhabited by Romanians but occupied by the neighboring empires until the end of the First World War. The Romanian Revolution in 1848 already carried the seeds of the national dream of a unified and united Romania. The first step in reunifying Romanians was to establish the United Principalities of Moldavia and Wallachia in 1859, which became known as Romania since the 1866 constitution and turned into a kingdom in 1881 after gaining independence from the Ottoman Empire. By the outbreak of war in Europe in 1914, Romania had long been at odds with Austria-Hungary over the issue of territory, specifically Transylvania, which was ethnically Romanian but then part of Hungary. Seeing Russia's success against Austria on the battlefields of the Eastern Front during the summer of 1916, Romania hoped to make an advantageous entry into the war in order to realize long-held dream of national unity. On August 18, 1916, the Romanian government signed a secret treaty with the Allies. By its terms, in the event of an Allied victory, Romania would acquire Transylvania up to the river Thais, the province of Bukovina to the river Prut, and the entire Banat region, all territory under Austro-Hungarian control. On August 27, Romania fulfilled its treaty obligation by declaring war against Austria-Hungary and launched three armies of 440,000 men the same night across the passages of the Southern Carpathians. The advance of the Romanian army was unopposed, as Austria-Hungary did not station considerable forces along the Romanian border. By mid-September, however, the attack was halted as German-Bulgarian troops advanced into Dobruja and threatened to outflank the Romanian army from the southeast. In October, the Romanian army was pushed out of Transylvania with the help of German reinforcements. By the end of 1916, the capital Bucharest fell, along with Wallachia and Dobroja, under the control of Central Powers, and the Romanian government retreated to Yash. After several defensive victories in 1917, with Russia's withdrawal from the war following the October Revolution, Romania, almost completely surrounded by the Central Powers, was also forced to drop out of the war. On the 7th of May 1918, in light of the existing politico-military situation, Romania was forced to conclude the Treaty of Bucharest with the Central Powers. Romania had to return southern Dobruja and to cede the southern part of northern Dobruja to Bulgaria and to give Austria-Hungary control of the passes of the Carpathian Mountains. King Ferdinand, however, refused to sign the treaty. Following the Russian Revolution of 1917, Bessarabia elected its own parliament, the Council of the Country, in October to November 1917, which opened on December 3, 1917, and proclaimed the Moldavian Democratic Republic on the 15th of December 1917. In January 1918, the Council of the Country called on Romanian troops to protect the province from the Bolsheviks, who were spreading the Russian Revolution. After declaring independence from Russia on the 24th of January 1918, the Council of the Country voted for union with Romania on the 9th of April 1918. Of the 138 deputies in the Council, 86 voted for union, 3 against, 36 abstained, and 13 were not present. The Central Powers recognized the union of Bessarabia with Romania in May 1918. Also, the United Kingdom, France, Italy and Japan recognized the incorporation of Bessarabia after the war through the Treaty of Paris. The United States and the Soviet Union, however, refused to do so. On the 10th of November 1918, just one day before the German armistice and after all the other Central Powers had already capitulated, Romania re-entered the war after the successful Allied advances on the Macedonian front. The first Romanian troops entered Hungary and occupied the Turgish mountain pass, accessing the Seke land region on the 12th of November 1918. With the collapse of the Austria-Hungary in November 1918, both the local Romanian National Council and the Ukrainian National Council, based in Galicia, claimed the region of Bukovina. 
A constituent assembly on the 27th of October 1918 formed an executive committee to whom the Austrian governor of the province handed power. After an official request by Janku Flondor, Romanian troops swiftly moved in to take over the territory against the Ukrainian protest. Although local Ukrainians attempted to incorporate parts of northern Bukovina into the short-lived West Ukrainian People's Republic, this attempt was defeated by Polish and Romanian troops. Under the protection of Romanian troops, the Romanian Council summoned a General Congress of Bukovina for the 28th of November 1918, where 74 Romanians, 13 Ruthenians, 7 Germans and 6 Poles were presented. The Congress elected the Romanian Bukovinian politician Janku Flondor as chairman and voted for the union with the Kingdom of Romania with the support of the Romanian, German and Polish representatives. The Ukrainians did not support this. The reasons stated were that, until its takeover by the Habsburgs in 1775, Bukovina was the heart of the Principality of Moldavia. Romanian control of the province was recognized internationally in the Treaty of Saint-Germain in 1919. On December 1, 1918, the National Assembly of Romanians of Transylvania and Hungary, consisting of 1,228 elected representatives of the Romanians in Transylvania, Banat, Krishana and Maramures, convened in Alba Iulia and decreed by unanimous vote the unification of these Romanians and all of the territories inhabited by them with Romania. The next day, on December 2, 1918, the High National Romanian Council of Transylvania formed a government under the name of Directory Council of Transylvania, headed by Iuliu Maniu. On the 11th of December 1918, King Ferdinand signed the law regarding the union of Transylvania, Banat, Krishana, the Sudmar and Maramures with the Old Kingdom of Romania. Romanian control of these provinces was recognized internationally in the Treaty of Trianon in 1920. After the incorporation of Transylvania, Bukovina and Bessarabia, the Romanian state reached its largest peacetime geographical extent ever, 295,049 square kilometers.